Welcome to the Revere Veterans Corner in conjunction with the Revere Veterans Service under the direction of Nick Bua and to the Revere Allied Veterans Council. Today we have a special show for you. We have the kids from the high school of the Junior ROTC. We have Major Balka, Sarge, Major, Major Sergeant Callender, and but the school committee, Mr. Fred Sanella, who will talk about the ROTC, because this is the first year that the junior ROTC is having this organization. Freddie, take it away for a few minutes. Morris, thank you very much. I, I would like to say what a privilege and a pleasure it is to be here. Anytime something new and innovative comes along, there's always some skepticism. Uh, when Dr. Dakin uh, made reference to the committee of the possibility of, of starting a junior ROTC, um, it was mixed with, okay, where do we go from here? Um, I can only speak from myself in my uh, experience at the football games at the uh, 280 series at the uh, school library, how impressed I was with the color guard and, and with the professionalism of people who have been doing this for approximately four, five, six weeks somewhere uh, since the beginning of school. I understand that the, the uh, acceptance from the student body is overwhelming, uh, that there are children who are actually waiting to get in. I don't know if there's a limitation as to how many people are uh, eligible for it or what, what the criteria is. But I think that this is filling a niche in the educational process of the high school students where they can express themselves in a positive manner because it seems uh, society today, it's only the negativist that gets promoted in the media. So I, I think that the a continuum of the program with the expansion of the program and with the capable abilities of your advisors, it's going to go just beyond limitations. And, and I can speak again for the members of the school committee how speaking on behalf of newness that it's again beyond my expectation and their expectation. And I wish you well and, and continuance and anything that we may be able to do to enhance your program, please do not hesitate to let us know. Again, congratulations for a job well done. Thank you Thank for you. that beautiful introduction. And now I would like to introduce the Junior ROTC under the direction of Major Balka, Sergeant Major Callender, and they will introduce the rest of them because I cannot remember all their names at my age, so feel free to do so. Sergeant Major Balka, all yours. Yes, sir. Um, Major Deb Bowker, retired United States Army, um, senior Army instructor at Revere High School. Sergeant Major Robert Callender is active duty from two, uh, 1981 to 2009, mostly in armor and cavalry units. Um, I did do two years of junior ROTC in East Boston, and uh, we're glad to be here at Revere. Revere's a very classy town, very uh, patriotic town, and we, uh, we, we you will see the cadets here uh, that we have with us and the rest of the cadets out in the community, in the near future. Thank you. Now the cadets will introduce themselves and then we have some questions for you. So starting over with you, sir. I am, uh, I'm Cadet Robert Bianchi. I'm the Bravo Company Commander. Speak for me. I'm Cadet Robert Bianchi. I am the Bravo Company Commander for the Rear Patriot Battalion. I am Cadet Ronald Disney. I am the Alpha Company Platoon Leader. I am Cadet Kayla Alvarenga, and I am 2nd Platoon Leader of Bravo Company. I am Cadet Jonathan Marchese, and I am Bravo 1-1 one, one, um, Squad Leader. I am Cadet Alejandro Rivera, and I am Alpha 2-2 two, two, Squad Leader. I am Cadet Jack Mal, and I am the Assistant S5. <coughs> I am Cadet... Lucas Romalo, and I am Alpha Company Commander. I am Cadet Captain Sauer Kuradaki. I'm the Battalion Commander for the Revere Battalion. Thank you. Now I would like to ask some questions, if I may, to all you, starting with Major Balka first. Yes, sir. Could you tell us about yourself exactly, your Army experience, and how you got going with the Junior ROTC, ma'am? Sure, sir. Thank you. So when I was, um, after I graduated from high school, when I entered college, I joined the senior ROTC program at SUNY Fredonia. I was commissioned as a second lieutenant, commissioned into the Signal Corps. 
I spent 20 years in the United States Army to include a deployment to Iraq, uh, Operation Iraqi Freedom from 2007 to 2008. When I returned from Iraq, I served as a uh, assistant professor of military science at Northeastern University. When I retired from the United States Army, um, I pursued a junior ROTC position and I was hired by the Revere School District. And it is an absolute honor to serve in this position in this city. I have one question for you, ma'am. When yes, you sir. were in Iraq, yes, how sir. did you find the, pe um, the people there personally uh, about our troops, if they liked us or, you know? Yes, sir. I was, uh, I was deployed 2007 to 2008 was during the surge, so the mission had changed. Um, the mission that I was assigned to was as a military transition team um, advisor to the Iraqis. Uh, there was mixed emotions um, as the Iraqi military does not have any female personnel at all. Um, and it went back and forth several times on whether or not I could go at all as a female officer. Ultimately, it was decided that I would go. I served as the communications officer to an Iraqi uh, general for the IGFC. And uh, with him, th they were very accept acceptable of my role, what my mission was there. And he and I successfully deployed um, video teleconference throughout the country. Um, to all 12 Iraqi divisions. Thank you. Yes, sir. Now I would like to introduce Sergeant Major Callender. Could you tell us something about yourself, sir? Yeah, a little bit more about me. Again, I was uh, active duty from 1981 to 2009, primarily in, in armored cavalry units. Um, I was deployed for Desert Shield, Desert Storm. I saw 1,500 miles of the Mar Arabian Peninsula from the top of a M1 tank and I was deployed for the whole year of 2006 or 2005 in Iraq during the, um, the elections in October and, and December of 2005. And uh, Iraqi people were very accepting of us and at the time. And uh, we did do a lot of, um, we maintained uh, stability on the east side of Baghdad was the, uh, the biggest thing we, that we did. But they were very glad that we were there. The, um, my last duty assignment was here at Fort Devens with the Senior ROTC program. And as you can tell, I'm not originally from this area, but uh, I'm fortunate to be married to a, a wonderful New England girl from uh, Reading. And four of her brothers and sisters uh, and her parents still live in the area. So I'm not leaving anytime soon. <laughs> right, yeah. thank you, yeah. Sergeant Calendar. Now I'm gonna be asking each one of you qu four questions, but we'll do them one at a time and you will answer one at a time. Starting with you, sir, Mr. Bianchi. What made you join the ROTC? And then after you get done, each one of you will have a chance to answer the same question. Well, my whole life, I have always wanted to pursue a career in the military. And once I heard about this program was coming about in the high school, I actually jumped for the chance to be a part of something like this. And I absolutely love it. Right, thank you. I joined JROTC to gain discipline, personal courage, and leadership, mostly. Thank you. Um, running in the, being in the military has been something huge for the family. My father, his father, his brothers, his sisters. This has been a big thing for me since I was younger. Um, my older sister was in ROTC for East Boston High School. So just seeing how she could set the example, I would love to join and follow her lead. Thank you. Well, most of my family was in the military and looking how things turned out for them and how things were for them. I've been waiting for a chance like this, an opportunity like this, and like Bianchi, I jumped on the opportunity. Thank you. Well, I joined JROTC because ever since I was A, I always wanted to join a military branch. So when I heard that Rivera High School was going to have this, I just took the chance and took it because something I always wanted to do, and I was really happy for it. And we're happy to have you. Thank you. My family also has a military history. And when I learned about JROTC coming to the Revere High School, I was just really happy. And I could join the program as soon as I could. Uh, <clears throat> as most of the other cadets here, my family, too, has a military history. Not my father directly, but his brothers and uh, his great-grandfather, my great-grandfather, so my father's grandfather. and. Um, 
Uh, I want to hopefully later on in life uh, fly for the Air Force. So I figured joining JROTC would be the best thing for me at the moment because I would get a, a, I would get a feel of how it would be to later on be in, in the military. Back you too, sir. One of the reasons why I joined ROTC was to give me the skills I needed to become a good leader before I went to the Marine Corps. I always wanted to lead, and the second I knew ROTC was coming to our school, that door that was shut for me for all those years in high school finally opened, and finally ROTC came and I got my chance to become a leader. Good, now that I know how you joined the ROTC, how do you feel being a member of the jury ROTC? And elaborate a little bit more on that. Um, I absolutely love ROTC. Uh, before this program started, there was um, a lot of students, a lot of people who wouldn't even talk, like certain people that are in the program now were in different cliques and everything and whatever else. But now all of us together have become united basically as a family. We all know each other. We all say hi in the hallways. Um, we're just a big family, as I said. And I absolutely love the program. Thank you. It's an honor to join the program, and I agree with Bianchi that it is one big family, all friends and loved ones. <laughs> um, I feel that ROTC has helped a lot of people communicate a lot better than without the program. Like Bianchi said, before the program was even here, a lot of students were into their own cliques. Everyone didn't talk to certain people for certain reasons. And now that being enrolled in this program, I feel that everyone has, like Bianchi said again, come together and we are a big family and we just learn to communicate with one another. Like saying what my previous cadets said, we are like a family and and Personally, it got me out into the community more, doing more for the community, and it just making me a better citizen. Well, I feel that um, joining JROTC helped all of us be a better person than we were before. It helped, um, it helped us um, show that um, we can, we, we, we're not just any other people. We actually are the same, we're all the same, you know, we can all work together for just not individually, you know what I mean? Thank you. I feel the JROTC has really brought us together and we work much better as a community and help our community. Uh, me personally, how I feel being in JROTC is, I actually can't think of many words to describe it because uh, I participate in a lot of sports after, join, after being in high school and uh, when I saw the chance, for, when I saw that we were going to have ROTC and I had this opportunity, I joined here, I joined this as well, and it's been really great. Uh, like the other cadets have said, we've come together and we all respect each other more and we respect the community more. We just have a greater appreciation for everything that um, the City of Revere stands for. And me personally, uh, joining the Color Guard and being part of a lot of events that have happening that have been happening throughout the community. It's just a great honor. Thank you. Being enrolled in the ROTC program at uh, Rivera High School, I feel like cadets have an opportunity to get to know some more people, and also an opportunity to do better things in their lives. Thank you very much. I got a question for all of you again. When your friends see you in uniform, and the community sees you in uniform. Are they very supportive of you? Do you find them very supportive out there? Starting with you, Mr. Bianchi. Um, actually, even a lot of teachers, the second we step into class, the first day we came in a new uniform, they were surprised. Like I had hair down to my down to my shoulders before this and cut it all off and now all the teachers and all my friends look look at me and say, You're a completely changed man, you stand up straight, you look proud and you wear the uniform well. I wish when they cut your hair you would have given it to me. <laughs> <laughs> All my teachers are proud and my, most of my friends support me and they still treat me the way I was before and see me as the same person. A lot of my friends and teachers have seen a change in me. I was very quiet. I was always about school. And I always kept to myself, but now that I come into school wearing this uniform and I wear it very proudly, um, 
A lot of a lot of my friends are very very supportive of me. Um, even outside of school, there are a lot of uh, people that just walk around and say hello to me and greet me, even though they don't know me. Just the fact that I'm wearing the uniform and being a proud supporter, um, I feel like they are very very supportive of our program at the high school. A lot of my friends there and teachers they ask me questions about it, try and learn more about it, see how it's going for all of us, and they look at they look at me the same, but they can tell that. It's changing me and it's making me into a better person, and I enjoy that from them. Wearing this uniform made made, made myself look differently a lot. My parents looked at me different. My it just wearing this made my mom cry because she doesn't want me to go any further in her house. <laughs> um, everybody, not even in the school, just outside of the school, people look at you, people stop, people stop cars just to say hi, I greet you. And it really means a lot. Even for the train station, they want you to go in for free. They don't mind. So it really means a lot just wearing this uniform. Thank you. My teachers haven't looked at me differently. And a lot of my friends are in JROTC, so we don't look at each other differently. But like he said, a lot of people who we see when walking home or around the city, they look at us in uniform and confuse us with soldiers and give us a lot more respect. It's really nice. <laughs> uh, when I first walked into class wearing my uniform and uh, saw my old teachers while I was in uniform, most of them, their, j their jaws just dropped because before ROTC I was never really, I was more of a big goof and I just fooled around a lot and whenever uh, uh, we're in class or we're, I'm in uniform or I'm in school now, I'm much more respectful. Uh, just like Bianca, I changed completely and uh, more, I just appreciate it and I feel that I have, I have to give a lot more respect than I've been giving in the past couple of years. Wearing this uniform for me has given me a lot of respect. People greet me, I greet teachers, teachers greet me back. People do show you respect, especially out in the streets. They will just stop for you right away if you want to cross the road. My parents uh, look at me differently. I have improved at home and at school. And it's just good to be here. Thank you. This question starting with you again, Mr. Bianchi, is out the ROTC. The community is going to help the ROTC, but we want to know how the ROTC can help the community. I think they're machine gunning us. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Doing renovations downstairs, and that's what that uh, coming is. Oh, they thought it was machine gun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we can. How can the uh, ROTC help the community? I mean, in what way can the ROTC help the community? Well, actually, we have been in, um, we've actually done a few events uh, involving us getting into the community. We've been to, um, to a yacht club at the Point of Pines, helping out um, veterans and um, raising the flag, presenting the colors, and um, we like to get around. We'll do anything the community if needs extra help. Um, we're there for most community events and just whatever they need. Before you start, Mr. Disney, I was at the Paul Revere School, and I got to tell you, <laughs> I've seen events, but I think you people did the most excellent job that I've ever seen, and I want to thank each and every one of you for doing it. Now go right ahead, sir. We also had another event where we fixed up the library and cleaned it up and put all the books on the shelves and stuff. And we just want to be helpful to Rivera and show that we care about it. Uh, like Cadet Disney said, we did help uh, the library and we were there for a couple of weeks. Most of the beginning of our program, we were there helping um, our school get fixed and helping the library now it is a lot more neater it's a lot clean it's very very organized and for myself I feel that the library has enhanced so much that it's a lot better to go in there and do more studying and I feel that more students are more comfortable actually going in there for other education reasons. Thank you. As a member of the Color Guard I um, participate in events such as um, the veterans event, um, Columbus Day Breakfast and it's a great, exp it's great being out there and helping the vi I mean the um, community, and it's a great feeling. Thank you, sir. 
And it's a good feeling the community helping us, but we also help them by doing events and also that we're not like getting paid or anything. It's just like we do it from our heart and we do it because we want to, not because they're making us. And we actually, it's like all of our, the events that we have done and everything, it's, we, we feel proud of doing them and also for the ones that are coming up and stuff like that. I personally have only participated in the Point of Pines Yacht Club veterans event and where I, where I raise the flag. And next week, well, this weekend, on November 11th, we're all marching in a Veterans Day parade. Um, ROTC, uh, how we help the community. Uh, well, it's not more like helping. We're just giving back what we get from them because they do so much for us. And we can only be grateful. And we can just show up as we've gone to various of the uh, events where we've seen the veterans. and. The, um, the Columbus Day Breakfast, the Point of Pines Yacht Club. Um, also, our first event was the 9-11 uh, Memorial. We got to go to that. We got to talk to a lot of um, people that I've never even seen before. I've only heard their names. That was the first time I met the mayor. It was uh, wonderful. But it just feels great to go out there as a member of, color, as a member of the Color Guard and present the colors and just be there in the community as, together with everyone else. Thank you. I am grateful that the community is helping our schools ROTC program, but one of the things that I believe is the top thing that we help our community is going to the events and posting our colors, raising the flag and saying the pledge and national anthem. I feel like it gives people hope, the people of the community. I feel like it gives them hope that we do still care. Right. Well, I want to thank each and every one of you for coming here. You're a credit to the community, you're a credit to the country, and I want to say thank you. And may God bless each and every one of you. May God bless the people of Revere. May God bless our troops. And may God bless the United States of America. And I'd like to say again, thank you all for coming. And we had a wonderful time here. And it was enjoyable to listen to all of you. And to you, Major Barker. And to you, Sergeant Major Callender. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, sir.